everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and oh, I'm so excited to share with you two new products that we're gonna have in our shop. These are already listed, and um, one of them is uh, some of the paper collections that we just received from Blue Fern Studios. This paper is to die for. And then the other is a whole host of these uh, photo play makers kits is what they call them and they're very cool i haven't used them yet but i have looked at them and they are really neat so i think you guys are going to be excited to see both i'm going to set the photo play stuff aside and we're going to start by going over the papers from blue fern so this first one that we're going to look at is jane's memoirs and um oh my gosh this paper feels so good um this is a beautiful collection and I'm not sure, but we're gonna go through each one of them, but I think there's 10 um, in a collection. So there's the uh, A side, there's the B side. Isn't that beautiful? I love this. Um, you guys, I can't tell you um, how beautiful this feels. You're gonna be so excited when, when you get your hands on these. It's very heavy. Um, I would say it's, it's gotta be close to 80 pounds and it is super smooth, it's beautiful. There is the B side. Look at these lovely images. We saw them last year at um, the Creativation, the conference, uh, where we go through and look at a lot of the papers for the new companies. And uh, we really like them, but uh, we kind of had a setback with this last year, and now we're back on track with these guys, and we're very, very happy to be bringing this to you. These collections are gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to do something with these. And again, these are listed in the shop. Look at this as far as, just, you know, a signature page or the cover page um, on, on your album. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I love all both sides, but I can really see, um, I can already see a, a beautiful album emerging here. And then there's this cut apart uh, page here. So in addition to um, the 12 by 12 collections, I'm gonna show you the, let's see, is this for, which one is this for if that's not for this collection? Some of them also have die cuts and eight by eights. It doesn't look like this one does, or if it does, I don't, oh, here it is. It has this um, sort of ephemera journaling card collection that comes with it. And you can see some of them are journaling cards. Some of them are like cut apart tickets and just these beautiful, beautiful elements. So this is an accompanying um, accessory to this collection. And then of course, some of what you see here, you also get some cut aparts here on the 12 by 12. So you've got both. This is um, a smaller scale. These are beautiful. Now you'll see in some of the other collections, they've got uh, the journaling cards as well as some die cuts for you. So this is like a fussy cutter's dream here. You're gonna love that. I'm gonna double check real quick, but I think there's 10 sheets, two, four, six, eight, yep, 10 sheets. 10 double-sided sheets per collection. So this one uh, has the 12 by 12 and the ephemera cards. The next collection we're gonna go through is called Stardust. And look at this, oh my gosh. Is this beautiful or what? Now for the eight by eight, you get two of each design. For the 12 by 12, you get one of each design. So you get 10 sheets here, 20 sheets in the eight by eight. Isn't that beautiful? So rich, I, I'm sure it's not coming across in the video as it is here in person, but it's beautiful. Look at this, I love this. <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I would really have a hard time cutting through it. I'll figure something out, but it is gorgeous. Lovely. These images are just so beautiful. And then this is like a bunch of border strips that you can use. And again, in border strips in um, a vertical, which is kind of nice. Um, they're almost always horizontal. So it gives you some options in your design. This beautiful cut apart page. See these nice little tags down here? Oh, it's so beautiful. You could fussy cut this floral array. 
and they even smell good. <laughs> and then a bunch of cut aparts for card toppers, but I like to use these in my albums as sort of features on the page. Some of them are journaling, some of them are just beautiful images. And then look at that, wow, stunning. So you've got the 12 by 12, the eight by eight, and then journaling cards that come with it. Let me double check. And then last, look at these die cuts. So here's the back side of the die cuts. So this um, particular collection has four elements to it. So it's 12 by 12, eight by eight journaling cards. And then um, you've got these die cut items, which are beautiful. Let's see, does it tell you? 29 die cuts in this pack. So all of these are in our shop and listed right now if you guys are interested. And you're gonna love this paper, I'm telling you, it is phenomenal. Okay, so here's the last collection I'm gonna share with you. And it is called Passages. And this is a nice neutral, I love balloons. I just think they make for great albums. Beautiful sky pattern, this is gorgeous. I think I probably feature that on the cover. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so this is the 12 by 12. Again, this is Blue Fern. The train's fun. I like the way they do these patterns sort of on the edge and not too far into the center, so that makes it easy to cut through the um, 12 by 12 if you want to scale it down a little bit. Sometimes if the image is past the six inch mark or it makes it a little hard to kind of figure out where you're going to cut through. I love this page. I think I'm going to leave it just as it is. It's so pretty. Although you could easily fussy cut some of these elements. Nice big heart with some maps in the background. And then again, these um, card toppers or cut aparts. And I like that they put a pattern on the other side so you don't have to use it as cards if you don't want to, especially if you go ahead and invest in the journaling pack. You may want to reserve this for the pattern on the, on the opposite side. So this comes with a 12 by 12, an eight by eight. Again, the eight by eights have 20 double-sided papers. The 12 by 12 has 10. We've got these uh, ephemera journaling cards. There's 12 in a pack. And then it also comes with these coordinating die cuts. Sorry, my uh, I'm filming at night, so I've got my studio light in. It's picking up a lot of glare from this. But these are beautiful, and this particular pack has 28 die cuts in it. Um, so these are very easy to use in um, your projects. So this is another collection where we have four elements in the collection. And again, these are listed in our shop right now. You guys go take a look at them, you're gonna love them. Okay, now this is exciting. This is gonna become like a staple for us and I really like this idea. So we, we have some of these in stock. If we run out, we're gonna get some more. So don't worry if you miss out on the first wave. These are um, little kits that help you build projects. So there's a wiper card. Now this one I opened because I wanted to see exactly what it looked like and more importantly I really wanted to inspect the instructions to make sure that you could easily follow these instructions and build out the card. Now I went through and did my scoring and, and figured out how to put it together based on the instructions not on my knowledge just on the instructions because I wanted to make sure if you guys made a purchase you could follow the instructions and easily construct these projects on your own. And it, and I gotta tell you, I was very pleasantly surprised by this. So you guys are gonna love this. So this is one, the wiper card. I didn't go through and open all of them. I did go through and put this together and verify that the instructions were easy enough to follow. I would say that the cardstock that these projects are made out of is probably close to 100 or 110. I don't know, it doesn't state, but they're very sturdy. And then after you decorate them with some more paper, they become quite rigid. So this is um, a nice simple box that and it has cards that slip inside. Okay, again, these are listed in our shop right now. This is what's called a matchbook, which I think is kind of neat. And you can see, and each one of them has a little pocket. So this flips up and then you've got these lined in the back and they flip forward 
like so, but they're also little pockets. So this is a neat idea just on its own, but I'm thinking about trying to incorporate this incorporate this as an element in a mini album. So I'll be trying to bring in some of these um, as elements on the mini album. And we're getting ready to go into the next set of, of their items, which really are designed for the mini album. So you've got a waterfall. Look at that. So this waterfall is designed to pull down and flip. And you guys have all seen that. And we've even built some of those in the albums that I've done. But this comes as a kit and it's ready to go. So you pull this card down and it flips over like so. And it comes as a pre-finished kit. This comes in black and white. Okay, these are four by four. Same thing for four by six. It comes in black and white. These are gonna be crazy popular because they're so easy to put into your mini albums and they just, you know, give it a lot of character. Now some other items that can either stand on their own or become basically the page in your album. So this is a folio. So you could just complete the folio as is, or you could have this be kind of a sophisticated feature in one of your mini albums. And this particular one is black. So there are a total of, um, we've got a total of the three folios. So folio two, three, and four, and they're all slightly different and uh, different sizes. So this is for six by eight, this is four and a half by eight and a half, and this is six by six. So each each of them is a little bit different uh, is in, in terms of size. This is kind of a, f a fun one. It's a nice, tall, thin one. Um, and again, the instructions are on the back of the sleeve that the, the um, elements come in. And I gotta tell you, the, the instructions were so easy to follow. And the quality of the cardstock is out standing. So the last thing I want to share with you is we also, and I'm disappointed so far they're not doing this in black, we're also starting to carry the PhotoPlay white cardstock. And it is, um, it's very nice cardstock. So you could use this for your albums, or you could use it um, to make pages, or to add additional elements to these folios. Um, I'm real happy with this. I've done a little bit of work with it. I've done scoring and wrapping and trimming just to see how it how it behaves and i'm really pleased with it my only disappointment is it's not in black which is kind of my go-to color so for a lot of these elements that i just shared with you they come in black and white um, and we should have some of everything in stock so head on over to scrap and create and take a look at all these yummy new products that we have for you guys we're so excited so this is going to be a great a great year. We've got new products. We've got new designers. We're so excited to be bringing you guys more content and more product this year. So take a look. Um, go um, to Scrap and Create, www.scrapandcreate.com, and there is um, a new, uh, under the shop, you'll find Photo Play, and that's where you'll find all of these. And I'm not sure if we haven't already, we're, we will create a filter for for Blue Fern, but I think it's listed at the top of our shop anyways, because it's brand new. So whenever we bring new things in, they tend to be the first things that you guys see on the shop page. So thanks for joining me here on this reveal, and I hope you guys enjoy these brand new products. We'll see you soon.